Okay, let's rewind the clock to the 2018 NHL Draft. Yesterday, we somehow got Philip Zadina at 6th overall when he was supposed to go 3rd overall. We also selected mid-first round talent Joe Valeno at 30th overall from the Thomas Tatar trade with Vegas. And the first pick for the Red Wings in the second round, we select Jonathan Bergeron. Classified as a late first round talent, most people think or thought he probably isn't and wouldn't end up being better than the Steels from the first round the day before. Flash forward two seasons, Jonathan Bergeron leads all U23 players in points as a 20 year old. The next best player has 29 points in 45 games played compared to Bergeron's 40 points in 44 games played. And Joel Valeno, selected before him, is also playing in the SHL and has 18 points in 39 games played. Bergeron's playing style is definitely similar to the smaller players in the NHL, which is understandable. He is standing at 5'11", 183 pounds. He has very good puck protection skills, very shifty, can make a really good pass, and owns an impressive shot. I believe his one talent that sticks out to me at least is his hockey IQ. He can see plays and process the game at high speeds, which not only allows him to create good offensive chances, but gets the puck out of his own end as well. If what you are hearing sounds too good to be true, then you would sort of be correct. There's a catch, because while he does everything in the game really well, Bergeron doesn't really have any talent like speed, shooting, or passing that is considered elite. Now, that's what reports and hockey analysts believe. He is considered to be a top six player at best and most likely will be. But I do want to take a look at this other interesting stat, and that is how much larger Jonathan Bergeron's stat line is this season compared to a Red Wings legend, Henrik Zetterberg, in his SHL season, three seasons from when he was drafted by the Red Wings in 1999. Henry Zetterberg that season had 10 goals, 22 assists for 32 points in 48 games played, with a plus minus of minus 14. Jonathan Bergeron, as of March 4th, 2021, has 44 games played with 11 goals, 29 assists for 40 points with a plus minus of plus eight. So respectively in the same season of their careers, Bergeron was actually better. Not only offensively, but defensively. Now I do want to say that these leagues have changed a lot and everything from how a team uses younger players to how the game is played, and not to mention how good the team is around them, changes how their stats will be and how good they will be theoretically. All I'm saying is that just because Statistically, Bergeron has done better than Zetterberg in this season. Doesn't mean he will be better than Zetterberg or even as good as Zetterberg. It's just an interesting stat to see and gives us hope for the Red Wings and of what Bergeron can become. What do you think of Bergeron? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, lights out in the red light district.